Welcome to our review on the interaction of limiting factors. So when we actually want to carry out investigations on the rate of photosynthesis, our go-to plant in biology is this stuff called Elodea, which is basically the scientific name for pondweed. Now, the reason that we use this pondweed is because it's going to give off bubbles of oxygen that we can actually work out the rate by doing something with. Now, what we're going to do with these bubbles, you could do two different things. First one, you could go with a really simple approach of just sitting there and counting the bubbles. It's a very exciting practical if you've done it, as you probably know. Alternatively, we could, as opposed to counting bubbles, use a measuring cylinder which has been upturned and filled with water to collect the actual gas that's produced. Now, one of the things you need to be able to do in an exam is basically suggest improvements and explain why that would be better. So if they were to talk about the fact that we could do this experiment and count the bubbles and ask you about the possible errors, then think about when bubbles are made. Are they all the same size? Would you potentially miss some bubbles if they're going really quickly? So all of those could be sources of error in the actual investigation. So if they ask you how you could then improve it or reduce the errors, then collecting that gas in a measuring cylinder means that you don't have to worry about counting them. It makes no difference if the bubbles are bigger or smaller because you're recording the total volume of gas that's being made. So make sure you can explain why certain things are an advantage or an improvement in these different experiments that you've done in class. So one of the factors that we could look at in terms of its effect on photosynthesis is light intensity. So if you were asked to design an experiment to investigate how light intensity affects the rate of photosynthesis, all you'd need to do is place a light source or just something as simple as a lamp up next to the pondweed first of all, and then move it further and further away, recording the amount of gas made at each distance. If you're asked to investigate how carbon dioxide concentration affects it, you can add different masses of this chemical called potassium hydrogen carbonate to the water because that actually creates the carbon dioxide for our plant to work. If you're investigating temperature, you just put the equipment in a water bath and you use different temperatures of water baths and then just record the amount of gas you make each time. So do make sure that you're aware of the different techniques that we would use to generate those different conditions for investigation.